This is the Villa Street in downtown Johannesburg. The streets here are abuzz with entrepreneurs with large bales of clothing items selling their different wares. Most people who trade here sell second-hand fashion trends. Ayanda Kela is one of those traders. Kela has for years been making a living from this trade. He literally comes here every day from early hours of the morning to sell clothing. Kela says over the years he has noticed that people from all walks of life come here to buy. All kind of people, all sorts of people. Middle class people, rich people, everybody who knows what quality is all about, everybody buys. Even the old people, even the pensioners, they do buy. Keller says he has been unemployed for years, but through this trade, he's been able to make ends meet and more. It does make an honest living because we can manage our lives through this business. I'm paying school fees for my children, I'm paying transport for them, buying groceries at my place, like I'm even able to save money for the future. Those who frequent this area to buy say it never disappoints. The prices is the number one factor, I'll have to say, because they sell original things, believe it or not. And the prices go from like 100 rand, just that it's old things, obviously condition is not 10 out of 10. But then for people that don't have the means to buy it from the shops, they can still get the original version here, just in a much less condition, I would say. But sometimes you get things that are, that are like 9 out of 10. I'm just coming by some stuff here and something for clothes, shoes, everything. The price is going up, it's not like before. Before the price was lower, but from this side, this time here, the price is up. We buy here because it's much cheaper. We don't work, so coming here, you are able to afford a little. You know also, when you buy something here, you are guaranteed that you won't see it being worn by another person, except you. Some economic analysts say this trend of selling second-hand clothing is growing, particularly because of the hard economic times. They say the future of pre-loved fashion is promising, especially in emerging markets, and that it is likely to grow even bigger.